Watch OS 6 is literally over the horizon as we get closer to the Apple keynote, we're literally under a month away now. It's to no surprise, leaks and reports are now coming in. And just yesterday, we got some reports coming from Bloomberg from a well-known reporter who has a very good reputation when it comes to these early leaks that pretty much almost spilled the beans for the entire keynotes. And then us being a huge Apple Watch enthusiast channel, let's go ahead and quickly review some of those new leaks and reports that we received from yesterday leak. One of the new things that we finally got because there was a lot of third parties that have been doing a great job, but finally on the Apple Watch, we are now getting a native calculator app for our Apple Watch. If you guys could recall on one of my early videos when I reviewed the Apple Watch, I made the comment saying, what kind of smartwatch is a smartwatch if it doesn't have a calculator app? And well, it looks like we're finally getting that. Which also makes me question, why does the iPad Pro doesn't have this? Huh? <laughs> Isn't this supposed to be replacing the laptop? But back to the subject. Another application we're finally gonna finally have by Apple is the voice memos. Which again, there's been a lot of great third parties out there already. So it'll be really strange seeing those go now. But now we're finally gonna get a native one by Apple. And then in this report, they also reported that there's finally gonna be a native dedicated app store for the Apple Watch. No longer will we actually be required to use our iPhone to actually download some third party applications. We're actually now gonna be able to view it all on our Apple Watch off our wrists. It's just like how Android Wear and also Samsung smartwatches have been doing it for a long time. Glad to know that they're making this Apple Watch more dedicated. There's also gonna be a new book application, not for reading books, that'll be impossible to do so or really uncomfortable on the small screen like the Apple Watch, but more for like audiobooks. And that I think that was really cool of them finally integrating this, especially since you're out and about and you don't have your phone nearby or you just don't feel like using up your phone's battery just to quickly listen to an audiobook. It's cool they finally have an application coming out for the Apple Watch for that. Now we're gonna get two new health applications. One is called Doses and Cycle is what they're reporting. And this is basically just gonna be for medication use. This is great for the elderly or somebody who's constantly under medication. This will probably send like little pins or little reminders on your wrist, letting you know, hey, it's time for you to take your uh, pills. So it's kind of cool that Apple still isn't finished when it comes to health management. There's also been reports of new complications by Apple this time. One is gonna be more like a noise decibel reader for some reason, and the other one's gonna be doing something with the weather, like being a rain complication, is what that article has been talking about. I'm disappointed there still isn't a mention of a step tracking complication by Apple. If you look at the fitness rings, it doesn't really tell you the exact step you're taking on the Apple Watch. You have to manually click on it and scroll down to view that information. I like using a complication for that where I could just take a quick peek on the watch face. So I'm usually using a third party one for this. Now new watch faces are coming out and most likely it's gonna only support the series four as well as future Apple watch models. With that larger display screen, we're gonna get two new jumbo size watch faces. There's also gonna be a new classic digital watch face. And then there's gonna be a new animation that's gonna be called gradient. And there's word that we're also gonna get a new solar watch face as well. So cool animation ones. It's still very unlikely that Apple will actually have support for third parties watch faces, which is really sad. But hopefully there's still gonna be a chance that we're gonna get some Marvel characters finally after the whole Disney buying Fox and all that stuff. Hopefully this time we're gonna go see an R2D2 or maybe an Iron Man watch face animated. And emojis and memojis, stickers. Support was also said it's coming to the Apple Watch. You're not gonna be able to make those Animoji animations, but I think you'll be able to finally include those when you're replying to messages in case you don't have your phone nearby. But I don't really know anybody that actually uses Animojis. Me and myself, I don't actually use it anymore. It's been so long since I last used it. Comment down below if you are a user of Animojis. But the stickers, it's something I actually try using at times. But other than that, that's basically the quick summary of what to expect on watchOS 6 that so far, Looks good to be true, but still isn't really confirmed until once again we hear it directly from the horse's mouth, aka Apple during the conference. But again, I still want to see a step tracker count because I'm still using this third party one. Let me know down in the comment section what's on your wish list on something you want to see Apple integrate to our Apple Watch. A dedicated web browser would be really nice, Safari, if you could actually include that. I don't see why not. 
we have WebKit, and that works just fine. But other than that, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.